Hello and welcome to the JR's Gaming Podcast, where we talk about the rise of Nintendo and what this great gaming franchise has in store for us in the future of gaming, and of course, the country from which it was born, Japan. I'm your host, Judah Terry, and today's episode is a little different than usual because we are have a special guest, uh, special guest, sorry about that guys, special <laughs> guest joining us today. Today, I am joined by MSGuy01, who is a Nintendo YouTuber, and more specifically, a Mario Kart YouTuber. He has now over 1.01k subscribers and a growing community. His most watched video has 55k views. His, um, most of his videos today are unpacking his thoughts about the world of Mario Kart and Mario slash Nintendo related content. Welcome to the show, Matthew. Welcome. Yeah, and... that's... <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure. And also in the studio with us today, we have Rowan Fern. Welcome back, Rowan. It's uh, a pleasure to have you here thanks. as well. Today. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, is this like my first, it's my second actually, isn't it, collab, because every time yeah. there's been a collab, I've not been able to make it, but. Yeah, we've had a couple of collabs over the past, we did one with Beth, which was our first ever collab, yeah. and that went really well, we had you on there for our own, but it's, it's amazing to have, just before Christmas, we're going to have an awesome guest on, and we've also got you as well, Rowan, which is the co-host, and I'm sure everyone's happy about that. But yeah, it's it's great to have you on. How have you guys been today? How, how's how's your how's your week's been? How's, how's your schedules, busyness? How's it been? How have you been, Matthew? Um, yeah, well, I just woke up actually. Um, oh yeah. Since I we're our time zones are very different. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's it's around like nine forty a.m. here. Um, yeah. So I enjoyed sleeping in a bit. <laughs> a good sleep normal, in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in fact, I actually slept in a bit this morning because right now in the UK, the time is 5.41 and then it's about 9am. I, I got up later than I wanted to today. Yeah. Basically, what happened was I woke up and then I, I, I saw it was like 9. I was like, mm. right, I'm going to have an extra hour of sleep. Woke up and it was half 11. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, As you always do. It's, 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 it's a common do problem. It. I always do it. I always ha- do it. Have a good sleep in, yeah. It's it's great to just have a nice, you know, sleep in. But it's also important, you know, to get up. I've been trying to sort out my sleep schedule lately, just trying to balance everything with, you know, college work and also the whole like my YouTubing uh, career, career with JR's gaming. It's all it's all really fun though. It's a fun life, guys. And it's always good to sleep in. But any any good plans, guys, for Christmas? Christmas is next week, believe it or not. On the it's... horizon, yeah. On the horizon. Any good plans, guys, coming up? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to stay home. Some of my family is coming over. We're going to exchange oh, nice. yeah. So Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I never go out what on a, Christmas yeah. Day. I always stay in. Yeah, it's like a nice... I think for me, Christmas Day is, you know, just having the family around, you know, sitting by the fire, you know, maybe some chestnuts. Yeah. But I'm allergic to nuts. So I can't have chestnuts, which is, <laughs> which is awful. I can't, I can't enjoy those roasted chestnuts by an open fire. But yeah, Christmas Day... I've never day. had chestnuts. <laughs> Mm, I've really? had them before. They're not. No. They're, uh, mm. they're, they're, pro- they're uh, kind of overrated. Uh, well, they're what's, not, what's your I mean, experience? I, I, I didn't. They just taste of nothing. They just don't nothing. taste it. It's like eating like what is? It's like eating like just chewing on a brick. <laughs> it tastes of nothing. Oh no, so that's, that's I, not I good. Think, I think they're a bit overhyped personally. Right, let us know, good. guys. Let us know if you have a different experience eating chestnuts. Do let us know yeah. because because like well, for the first time I had roasted chestnuts, I, I was like, oh, I can't wait, and then it was. It was a it bit. Good. It was a bit of an anti-climax, but we won't speak about it. Yeah, well, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here with Matthew today, and we both not had chestnuts, so we're we're in the same boat, Matthew. I probably won't yeah. ever get to eat them because I'm not. I'm allergic. Don't to feel nuts. too bad though. They're not. They're not that good. Yeah, I mean, I want to try them, but mm. yeah, now I kind of don't because because <laughs> because they taste like bricks. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like bricks because they taste like bricks apparently. But yeah, do let us know if you have anything <laughs> different. But anyway, today we're here not to talk about how chestnuts are rubbish, but we're here to talk about. Uh, basically, we're here to interview you and, and get to know you a bit, Matthew. So, first of all, let's just let's just tell everyone, you know, tell a bit about yourself. Explain who you are, you know. For those who don't know you, who are you and what do you do, Matthew? All right, so um, I have a YouTube channel, MSGuy01, and mm-hmm. I talk about Mario Kart. And uh, I do a lot of ranking videos, so mm. talking about, like, what the best Mario Kart tracks are, Mario Kart characters, or something like that. Um, mm. And then I also do live streams on YouTube. So, mm. yeah. My so, yeah, it's like... pretty much just everything Mario Kart. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm a big fan. Me and Rowan, we're both fans of Mario Kart, aren't we, Rowan? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, around this time of year, I always uh, go back to Mario Kart Wii because um, mm. obviously, like, with I always mm. mention every single podcast I mention this CTGP Revolution. CTGP oh, yeah. Revolution. Yeah. Because, like, I put, like, some custom music, you know, um, I think what's it called in the um 
in the US uh, version of Mario Kart, it's called um, well it, here it's called DK Snowboard Cross. What's it called in? I know it's got a different name in. Uh, it's DK yeah. Summit here. DK Summit, yeah. Oh. I don't know why that name change was made, but yeah. Mm. But for that one, I put like Christmas music in the background because you can put custom music. Wait, really? So, I didn't know this. Oh wow, custom! Exactly. I didn't know that either. You can wow. put custom music, uh, custom characters, custom tracks. It's but the wow. only problem about custom characters is you have to replace a character. Mm. So if you choose Mario, then you're not going to be able to play as him. You're going to be able to play. But you can always uh, restore it back to the original. Wow, so, I, I didn't know that. I played a bit of CGT, CGTP7, is it? For the Mario yeah, Kart CGTP7. 7. And that's pretty good as well. It's pretty good. But yeah. You can't beat yeah. Mario Kart Wii. Have you had, what's your experience with CG? Have you got CGTP7 before, Mar- Matthew? Um, I have not played CGTP7. I have played CGTP Revolution on the Wii, though. That's mm. a lot of fun. Mm. I love all the, the custom tracks. It's um, mm. oh, yeah, very yeah. fun to see that. I also, honestly, I would like to make my own custom track sometime. I think that yes. would be cool. Yeah, yeah, we actually talk about that. It's one of the questions later on like, about that, but we'll, we'll discuss that in a, in a bit. So, yeah, I, I've, I've been playing Mario Kart for ages. I'm sure we all have. It's like the main go-to you know, game that everyone knows almost. When you ask someone, oh, what's your experience with Nintendo? It's usually Mario Kart. So, to like when I discovered your ta- channel as uh, growing, just like, just like me and Ryan started, literally this year and i noticed you had started for a bit oh, longer yeah. i was Coming like up to the one year anniversary soon isn't it yeah because basically uh matthew if you don't know me and mario me, me, me and mario <laughs> me, and Ro- <laughs> me and rowan you know started. mario well you, you and mario <laughs> yeah. some of the times you've had together yeah great inseparable. times inseparable being mario are but yeah me and rowan to start we've been best friends for years and we decided you know we would, we would combine our our interests as a as a podcast we've been discussing it for ages and we started the podcast first didn't we rowan and now we think yeah. you've also as, as as in the future we've got more time and resources Wait, we gonna... started the podcast before what we started the podcast before we decided to do was it uh, youtube we've not really done much youtube in the past have we but we, we discussed well... I th- no, I don't know. Which one mm. was first? I thought YouTube came first. I think it was both at the same time, you know. We released the JR's Gaming. the mm. similar time because I remember yeah. like you said, let's make a YouTube channel. Mm. And we weren't going to we weren't gonna um, actually do podcasting until, what was it? When our, Oh yeah, like, that was true. We were, we were going to keep, you keep like, it. Like, yeah. you, know, you were just like, you know what, let's just do it now. And I was like, oh, okay, then. And, it, it, and it's grown. It because it's, it's, it's grown, yeah. yeah. It's amazing because we have you know quite a massive like set of listeners since since February, and we literally want to thank you all guys for that. And it's so, so awesome to you know start to really grow it on. Now we've only just started our podcast YouTube channel as well. Um, and you told me earlier that that's that's now taking off. It's doing quite well. I mean, I'm not sure because I'm not sure if you know Matthew. Our latest video it was just like a small little talk around with Rowan. And we did a picture. Okay. We did a. Uh, I put in the thumbnail a picture of Mr. Beast because we were doing. We talked about Mr. Beast in the episode, <laughs> and it shot up to two hundred and forty-seven. Why did views. you talk about Mr. Beast? <laughs> oh, of course. I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's because Mr. Beast was in the thumbnail. So well, why did we talk yeah. about him? I don't know. I think it came up. That's it. You were talking about how he was cancelled, wasn't? Well, weren't we? Oh yeah, uh, no. We were yeah. Talking about people trying to cancel him. Yeah. Yeah. But, but poor but Mr. Beast. That's, that's, you, you're already getting the mind of a YouTuber. You know what I mean? Talk about one subject mm. for two two minutes and it becomes the thumbnail that that's that's a youtuber <laughs> mindset right there that is yeah but anyway we're not we're coming off track massive we always go on massive <laughs> side tracks but uh yeah oh. but for those yeah we do you do a mario kart channel i was really i've written one of my favorite videos that i watched by you i think was the which probably was actually the most underrated uh mario kart was your latest yeah, yeah uh, you, my mm. latest is most underrated uh i also made most overrated before that so. yes i saw Try. that as well yeah I, I like what you said about Wow Luigi Pinball because I definitely agree it is very overrated. I mean, it was fun yeah. for quite a while, but it's just no, the yeah, same no, sort I agree. Of... I agreed on that as well. Yeah, it's quite. Yeah, I you know, my opinion on that has changed. Wow Luigi really? Pinball. You know, I used to like love it, like it's the best mm. track in Mario Kart DS. But I mean, I guess over the years, it's gotten a bit more boring. I think so, I agree. It's exactly the same yeah. to me and Rowan. To be fair, I was playing it a lot when I was younger. I was like, wow. I didn't actually notice that. Yeah. Um... Wario Stadium had the same music. I didn't actually notice that until you pointed it out. Mm, that is quite a common mistake that we don't really realise. It's yeah. like it's very. It's, it's very, if you then I went and replayed it and I was like, wow, it, it really has got the same music. It's quite interesting. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. It's always associated with Waluigi Pinball as the thing, mm. and you know I always have loved the music for yeah. both of the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. At first, it's, I was a bit. I was a bit surprised about um, Coconut Mall. 
Mm. But, oh, the, yeah. but you, you raised some good points. Oh, it, so. I'm sorry, but the, the cars in Coconut Mall do my head. Oh, yeah. The, the, they, they just drive Especially when they're your created me's in the cars as well. It's like, I created you and you're sabotaging me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so rude. <laughs> it's like your family and friends just like cheering in the crowd as they but, like hurt like, a uh, Mercedes think, yeah, Benz. People into your... mostly know Coconut sorry. Mall from like the memes, which yeah. is, I mean, like, yeah, like most people, when they think of Coconut Mall, they do think of the memes. They don't actually think yeah. of like the track itself. Yeah. So Matthew, it's uh, what we've got a question. What do you like to do in your free time? Because we've discussed, you know, you do YouTube, and that's really yeah. good. But what do you do in your free time? Is it playing Mario, or do you like do you like going on cycling? You know, walks. What do you do in your free time? Well, um, yeah, of course I love playing Nintendo. So Mario, yeah. a lot of Mario Kart. Yeah. Go to. Um, I also yeah. like uh, I like coding. So like um, mm. coding apps or websites or something like that. Oh wow. Um, yeah. That's really cool. Uh, that's actually, if I can say this now, I think that's also the reason my name is MS Guy One. Mm. Um, MS actually stands for Microsoft, so it's kind of oh. computer related, I guess. Oh. I was gonna, yeah, we're gonna ask you like, the meaning behind yeah. that because a lot of, as I, as I was saying, I saw this Mario Kart related content. I was like, wow, I, was, I wonder what the meaning is. So it's Microsoft Guy, then just O One, or is that just yeah. like start to put the O One? Yeah, O One. It was O One because. Um, I guess to differentiate myself, because there were already people called MS Guy, mm. just MS Guy. So, yeah, true. Um, but you're now the true MS Guy. You can now define yourself yeah. with the with the Mario Kart channel. You are the MS if you, Guy. Um, yeah, if you look back in my channel history, there are some computer-related videos, but I've mm. kind of moved away from those now. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's doing really well, because I was going to say, I, was, I think it's very important to have... You know those those the, the, those videos that talk about the old games as well as the new games. That's what I think because we can very easily forget about the old games because they are older, but they are still widely played all over the world. Particularly things like Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Wii. Oh, they, yeah, they are easily forgotten in the whole yeah. you know, Nintendo Switch, Mario Kart Eight, which is a great game <laughs> by the way. We'll talk about mm -hmm. that in a bit. But it's, it's I really like how you literally like a Max and Mitch of the old Max and Mi Max and yeah, you mix and match. Yeah, yeah. Mix and match. Mix there and, is. Yeah. You mix and match the old games and the new ones, and talk about you know the the differences, what you like about it, what you don't. I really like how you do that. That's my favourite aspect because you get you we get to yeah. like see in twenty twenty two, almost twenty twenty three, the old games that we love to play on YouTube, like as a, a late video, and they're doing really well. So yeah, mm. yeah. Well, I think like. Um... Each Mario Kart game like has its own pros and cons, and like mm. just because a game is newer doesn't mean that <laughs> older games aren't better in some aspects. Exactly, um, I hundred yeah. percent agree. Yeah, there's some great old games out there. I I love. I personally, I mean, Ryan Ryan has has his his pros and cons about this game too. But Mario sixty four, I found it very. I, I I like this game to be fair. Yeah, because it was the first three oh, yeah. D game. But I like <laughs> your video that you did. Was it was it the cursed version? You did, uh, what was that? Oh was yeah, it, yeah. That went uh, so Mario wrong. 64 Chaos version. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was, was that? What was that? Yeah. <laughs> that was just like Mario 64 Chaos edition is like a ROM hack of the game where like mm. completely random things happen all the time. So <laughs> yeah. I made a couple of videos of me playing through it, and it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Also, um, I, I was surprised at your yeah. patience. To be fair. I was just like, wow, he's, he's really yeah, doing well to play yeah. this game through. I would have like, like threw it out the window by then. I was like, right, this is it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I didn't throw it out the window either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ryan, right, what's your thoughts on Mario 64? Because you now have it you, on your 3DS with an emulator. You already, you? you already know what I think of it. Yeah. It's quite, what's it? Im is it Liminal Spaces? You're, liminal you Spaces, like? yeah. Yeah. And it's quite a... Oh, um, wait, uh, have you had uh, um, like the videos talking about like why it's creepy? It's like a very... It's a weird subject, but it is sort of like because it's the emptiness mm. of the game. Like, there's not many uh, yeah. in the hub in the hub areas. There's not very much happening. Which, you know, actually, I've gotten that feel too. Like, there's mm. some spaces in the game that just feel creepy, even when they're yeah. not supposed Definitely. to. Definitely, that's what I mean. And that that's what creeps me out more is that like a horror film or a horror game is meant to be scary, but it's always when like it's not meant to be scary, but it is. That's that kind of yeah stuff that creeps me out. Yeah. It's like a vibe, almost, because it's such a. It's like a. Was it a prototype? It was not a prototype. It was the first. Because it was the first three D game in the series of the three D game. Like, it I was kind of. They couldn't include like a lot in the hub areas because it would have mm. like overused like. It would have like overran oh, the yeah. system. So, Especially like, that's the why they had to never ending like, music scare. The, the, oh, the, the staircase. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the staircase. That that was. I don't. It's like I don't know how to describe it, but the music keeps them going up and like further and further and further in different keys. Mm. And that was like, wow. So like, how did they do that? 
But yeah, it's it's definitely one of the the the, the weird, mysterious sort of vibe you get from that sort oh, of game. Oh, but, you know, you yeah. know, the most creepy part of that game is, uh, do you know, like, uh, Wet Dry World, like the oh, town? Yeah. Oh, that you go yeah. To? Oh, wet I think dry that's world. probably the creepiest. It's mysterious. That is. Oh, that. yeah, because yeah, there's, there's loads of, like, houses and stuff and, like, buildings that... They're yeah, empty. Yeah, empty. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, and, what uh, happened here? It's like it's almost like a theory you can make, like, what happened here in Mario 64? You know, what, mm. what's the 64? What, what is this? What, what are all the empty houses? So, yeah, it, it's, it's really quite interesting, to be fair. But, yeah, of course, Nintendo, we all love it here, guys. Everyone from listening to this has some sort of interest and rea- and interaction with Nintendo. But Matthew, how did you get to love Nintendo? We all we all have our stories, but how did how did your love for Nintendo start? Um, well, I'd say it started like when I was in elementary school. Um, mm. I'm not sure what they call it in the UK. It's I think like it's primary school is it? Elementary, right? yeah, I think yeah, primary, it's primary school. Yeah. Primary school, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's when I got my first 2DS, like the original 2DS. Mm. Um, and uh, I got Mario Kart 7. It came with it. And, oh, yeah. you know, I, I love that game from the start. Um, oh, yeah. My first Mario Kart game that I ever played. So um, I played that a ton. And, mm. yeah, that's when it started pretty much. So which went from there. And did you start to play more games, I guess, with Mario? Or was it just kind of yeah, yeah. Mario um, Kart? Let's see. I'm trying to remember what. Oh, I got Super Mario 3D Land. That was oh, one, yes. one of my first games as well. I yeah. like that. What do you think of Super Mario 3D Land Row? I think that's a bit more safer, you could say, than <laughs> no, the, yeah. The um, Smooth Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64. No, I, I more... did enjoy. It. I did enjoy that game. Um, yeah. But I, I ended up. I, I don't know. I, th- I just ended up putting it down after a while. But like, I, I, mm. I probably could have very easily uh, completed it if I wanted to. Yeah. I thought I, it was pretty good of a game. It did you manage to complete it? What about you, Matthew? Did you manage to complete um, it at all? Or... I don't think I hundred percented it. Um, yeah, you, like you can mm. get all the star coins in each level, and I haven't done that, but I'm pretty sure I did like beat it, like I beat Bowser and all that. Mm. Um, yeah, there's definitely a yeah. lot to do in that game. Oh yeah, Maybe I should come back to it honestly. Yeah, you should, you should, you should yeah. like make a theory on it because I've I've seen some of your other videos as well talking about you know the your uh, I like how you also switch to Nintendo related content, which is always good because you then have a wider spread of things to talk about if you. Yeah. want to do something else apart from Mario Kart. And that was including your, I think it was the games, I think. I forget most. You rated them from 1 to 10, the ones on your Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, every mm. game on my Nintendo Switch, I just, like, listed them and, like, I ranked them yes. based on my previous experience with them. So Yeah, that, that was, was really good. Fun. It was good to hear, yeah. like, opinions on that because I, I recognize, like, a lot, I, like, I like how you're the, probably one of the first sort of YouTubers who said, you know, you didn't like, like Animal Crossing. I was like, wow. Was that, yeah, the yeah that is a very playing. controversial opinion I have. I've noticed yeah. that. A lot of people love Animal Crossing. I just mm. never got into it. Yeah, it's, um, it's, 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 it's all boring, for everyone. In my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of it. But yeah, you go. It's, oh, it's, okay. it's opinions, it's opinions yeah. isn't it? But yeah, uh, to be fair, I don't understand why some parts of it. I'm going to I'm gonna come out on this. Animal Crossing New Leaf. I played that more than I did. Of, I've not really, I've not got New Horizons to make a proper opinion but it depends if you have a lot of free time i think but yeah i definitely like how you gave the the sort of your opinion on the game so i think that's very important because you gave a good reason and i can understand why some people probably find it boring as well so yeah it's quite interesting because i i came to love mario and nintendo through uh, mario kart ds and i got that on oh, my nintendo so ds Lite. similar to me Just yeah a different mario kart yeah yeah different mario that's kart cool. It was like an older version. It was Mario Kart DS. And I think, was it you, Rowan? You had Mario Kart Wii. Did you start off with? Um, I started off with Mario Kart Wii. Um, I then got my own DS and played Mario Kart DS. Oh, yeah. Um, so you started, started with, with Mario Kart Wii. Because, I mean, that's why I like it so much is because of the memories that were mm. attached to it. But mm, Yeah, I think it's memories are, are, are a massive like attachment to most of these games, particularly Mario Kart. Like, Mario Kart DS, yes, as soon as I open it up, Matthew, it's just like, wow, like the memories just come flooding back of me just sitting on that couch, coming home from school, and just like, oh, Mario Kart, it's time, it's time. To... Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's the memories, it's just, yeah, so for, for all of us, I think we have that starting point, and that is, yeah, it's funny, because I got a Nintendo DS Lite, and I played it to death until my sister, my little sister, should I add, broke it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I was... hinges. That's like... Yeah, it, it really... How did she break it? Yeah. So basically... Did she, like, run on the ground? <laughs> she was like... Yeah, she was like... I think I left it on the side of the couch. And 
Seren is, so my little sister Seren, she was about five years old, I'm guessing. And um, basically she, like being a very small girl, decided to like pick it up and say, oh, this um, this flips, this this opens up. What happens if I bend it the entire... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the entire way, oh. 360 degrees and uh, snap. Quite simply. Oh, that, oh, that sucks. It's it did suck. And I, <laughs> oh no! It just snapped, and I was like, I, I came mean, downstairs. Apparently, um, oh. oh, that's. <laughs> I can imagine that. What happened next, though? So of course, I came downstairs half an hour later, and oh, I no. just I saw it. My sister, bless her, she was just like sitting on the on the on the sitting on the couch. She knew what she had done. She knew I loved this device. She was sitting there just looking very embarrassed, and there on the couch was my Nintendo DS. No longer one piece, but two pieces. <laughs> the screen was no uh, longer on the... I was I'm like, not, okay. Uh, uh, I cried. Um, yeah, I cried. I would have done as well. I was apparently, so um, apparently um, I, I went in... I, w- I once went into my sister's room mm. and her DS was on. And it was on, like, uh, I think it was uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS. Oh. And I, I, went in, I went to, like... It was on, on like, the, the menu... Yeah, and I, I made a I, I made a new file and I overwrote her file that she had like all of her progress oh. on, and then she came in and got really mad because I was on like level I was on like level one, one. and like she was <laughs> like, <laughs> and she was like doing really oh, no. well. Yeah, she got to like the last world and she had to do it all over again because of me. But oh. uh, I, don't, I don't I don't remember it very vaguely, but I just remember it happening like yeah. Um, I, d- I did a lot of stuff like that, though. Like, I used to like <laughs> walk in and the DS would be on and I'd start playing it. Like... Don't we all? Inquisitive young people. <laughs> but yeah, then, then my, my, um, my grandma, bless her, she bought me a Nintendo 2DS, the original, uh, like, like you, Matthew. I had, like, the, oh, yeah. Without the flip screen. And it's like, yeah, she can't uh, break that yeah. <laughs> because it's not got the flip screen. I've still got it and it still works perfectly. Oh, I love cool. it. Yeah, yeah so... I actually don't have my original 2DS mm. anymore. I have oh, a no. new 2DS XL. Oh um, yes, I sold my original 2DS so I could get yeah, this. New DS, fair enough. So, um, what do you think? I think it's a lot better. Yeah, mm, I like I the gonna... folding aspect. It it makes it a lot easier to store. Yes, I 100 percent agree mm. because it's just. I think to be fair, I love my 2DS, but you could. My sister had a 2DS and it broke. Uh, like probably revenge. It was karma. <laughs> I don't know how it, I didn't break it. <laughs> I swear, uh, but someone stepped on it, and uh, because it was on the floor, and it just broke. I think with a 3DS, if you step on it, it's got more of a durability. I don't know if I'm correct, but that, that is if it's uh, closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's if it's closed. Yeah. That is because there's, <laughs> there's two screens. But what, what, whatever. If you, if you, Matthew, had any Nintendo shambles up in the past, past where you've been, like, um, oh no, you know, my I data's don't... lost. Or... I don't think so, but my sister has. So, oh. you know, Tomodachi Life? Have you played that game? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We love this game. This yeah. is my game. favorite game. Okay. Yeah. So, my sister had, like, the game card for it, and my mm. dog chewed it up. So it was... <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. That pretty crazy. Oh, that's, that's really but sad. Actually, we were, we were able to go back to GameStop and get a new copy, which was lucky. Yeah. Oh, but, of course, yeah. I wish we had GameStop here. Still but, devastating. You know, um, still GameStop's devastating. Yeah. like game, isn't it? GameStop, yeah. We don't have that in the I UK, do we? I wish we had it we? here, because our, our, I think it's just game. Ours is just called game. Ours is called... La- ours, in the UK, we're just so lazy, Matthew. We just have game. Game. It's like, yeah, game. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go to game. game. <laughs> yeah, it's just called game. You walk into a, a store, and it's just called game, and there's loads of games. And then, yeah, I think... You know, yeah. GameStop, I'm not actually a big fan. I think... Mm. Um, oh, really? I like going to more, like, retro game stores. Like oh, yeah. that sell used games because at GameStop they don't have a very big selection of used games. Yeah, so you're just like paying full price for a new game, and oh. that's that would well, just yeah. be the um, same as buying it on Amazon or something like that. Mm, so mm, I, I mean, see, yeah. See, yeah. Uh, can you trade? You can trade in. Uh, I think you can trade in games in game. Yeah, you can trade in games. That's true. You can, yeah, trade, you can in trade in yeah. in GameStop. Yeah, but can you? Can you? Do you, can you? Do you know if you can uh, trade them in in like ours like games? A game. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've not tried. I've seen, I have yeah, in game ones on the I've, shelf. I've got a feeling that you probably can, considering GameStop has. Ones. Yeah. Um, but like, there's only like a few used ones, so like, it's similar. Like, you, you the, the only option yeah. is to really buy like, a, like the full price, like brand new. Now, Ryan but, would know about this, but like, I saw what you said there, Ryan. I cut you off there. No, no, no. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, carry on. Ryan will know about this. I was wondering if you do, Matthew. But this is you may laugh at this, guys, and it may is a bit embarrassing. 
but uh, yeah, there, we have another massive game game sort of second hand where you can get Nintendo a lot of Nintendo 3DS DS games, Nintendo Switch games. It's a massive game chain in the UK. It's called Sex, and it begins with a C instead oh. of an S. Oh yeah, C E X. Oh, I, always, C-E-X. I always say C E X. I don't. Say yeah, that. I say C E X, but it's pronounced. Wait, apparently what does it sick. stand for? I, I'm does it not stand sure. for anything? Let's, I'm not, let's research I, I assume it, it stands for something, but I'm not. I'll research sure. it now. Yes, see it. Sta- well, on the advert, for? they're always like sex, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is a bit, is a bit like, um, oh, it stands That's for. That's pretty strange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's for, like they know what they're doing that... in the adverts. They know uh, what they're doing. Right, I think. Yeah, something like... that kids would want to go to. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what does it stand for? Okay, so guys, it stands for something completely different uh, from the real thing. It stands for Complete Entertainment Exchange. X with a capital X in that word. Yeah, they exchange. definitely did that on purpose. They definitely yeah, did that on I purpose. I think they did. I bet they, they made did. the acronym and then like mm. made up something to, that it could stand for. Yeah, yeah, it's British That's culture. We have a bit That's of not, the, banter. The exchange begins with an E, so they definitely... Yeah, I, I, I thought this is a bit cheeky because they, they've got Complete Entertainment, yep. And then they have X change with a massive X. X change. With a capital X. Oh, yeah, and X still right. But... Still right, but a bit cheeky. A bit cheeky. But yeah, I think I've got a feeling, Ryan, you can trade def- for definite trade mm. games in that, considering but it's called X change. I went to a shop in, um, I'm not going to say where, but when I was on holiday, I went like to another place like that within the holiday, right? Mm. And it had like, um, like, it was like just full of like retro. It wasn't like specifically a game store, mm. but... I went to like the back of the shop and it like you are turning a corner and in this corner they just had like super in they had piles and piles of DS games, GameCube games or just piled up. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. wow. GameCube. Yeah, that sounds very cool. The yeah. secret secret game stash. Had, I don't know. The great had, secret um, game they stash had somewhere. Nintendo's GameCube's N sixty fours. They had like everything, but the, yeah. I think a lot of those are like things that people have traded in. Had yeah. and I bought a game mm. from it. I bought um the Simpsons game on DS, right? And oh, he wow. said, I said, how much? He said 15. And I just paid the price. But when I went home, I said, I asked like a family member, do you think I could have, do you think, I, like, is that a type of place where you can like negotiate? Because I would have, hmm. if he would have went 15, huh. I would have gone, no, 10. And he would, and he was saying, I've only no, got a 10 on me, mate. And I would have said, no, 10, I take it or leave it. And to be fair, it, you, Probably, I mean, negotiating is something only I, th- I think of. It wasn't like an official like, Europe, like, license because... store. It was like a, it was like mm. an antique store. So I, was, mm. I could, probably could have negotiated a better price, but like, if I, if you, I didn't know you could. Like, otherwise, I would have. I thought that he just had a set price on everything. Yeah, yeah you, you know, like... I've never thought yeah. to do something like that. I don't, mm. I don't know. Maybe it's more of a Europe thing than a US thing. I don't know. Yeah, in the UK, you'll find actually. I've not actually ever seen. It. I've only seen it in, like those dramas that are in like Greece, and they're like, I want like five euros. No, I only have like four. It's like you have to like negotiate. I've never really seen that in the UK, to be fair, either. But yeah, maybe yeah, Rowan could have lost his luck there. Maybe he got it for half price. But Rowan, would you like to tell me how you almost got a giant Mario plushie on a theme park? Have we you almost got before? it. We've told oh, it on the sounds... podcast. Yeah, tell, that tell... sounds cool. I I've not heard it, so yeah, tell okay. Matthew. What what so I went to Alton Towers right on mm. a school trip, and um. I was, we were, I was walking like to a ride that I didn't I didn't I mean I got tricked into going on a on a on a really scary ride. <laughs> it's great. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, um, <laughs> but, but before I knew about that, um, I was walking and there was these two people carrying like a giant Mario plush and like Mario. So, okay, there was two people walking. One of them was carrying a giant Mario. The other one was carrying a giant Yoshi. Right. Yeah. And um, so. And then I, was, I gave him a nod and said, oh, you want a Mario? And he was like, yeah, do you want it? And I, I, I was like, oh, can I have it? Because I thought he meant just for free. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll have it. <laughs> and then he said, 20 quid and it's yours. And I said, I've only got 15. And he said, no, get get a fiver from your mates. And I, oh. I, looked at, oh. I looked at my friends and none of them wanted to give me a fiver. So they just ended up walking away. I was like, oh, he lost and, that and Mario. I don't, know, I don't know where they were getting them from because... Pretty much on the way out, I saw another person carrying one. So they were literally just handing them out <laughs> like sweets. But I don't know where they were getting them from. So like, because to yeah. be fair, you had a look in one of the crane, like the massive giant crane game game, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you no, saw I was robbed of two pounds. You're robbed put, of two I, pounds. I put a two. There was, I put a two pound coin in the claw machine. It yeah. and I, it didn't give me any plays. It never works. Yeah, <laughs> so it robbed me of two pounds. Scams. But then it said. Yeah. But then it said right. No, it didn't even let me play. I probably wouldn't have won anyway because they're a scam. But <laughs> it said um it, it didn't even let me play. So and then it said on the on the thing, please walk to here for assistance. And we looked on the map 
and they were about five miles away from where we were <laughs> and, uh, and, then, and then I was just like hey, it's, I can't be arsed it's two pounds so by the time you like, walk all the way there like someone else would have like taken your spot and been like right I'm gonna win this giant Mario <laughs> like get lost yeah <laughs> so yeah well. oh to be fair, I think if you want to find really good retro games, I've heard Japan is really. We mm. talk about Japan a lot. Mm. Have you have you experienced any? Uh, have you seen any videos, uh, Matthew? About in Japan, they've got really good because it's the home of Nintendo. They've got some really good yeah. little retro stores uh, where you can buy even Game Boys uh, for good prices. I, yeah, I haven't seen any videos. That sounds cool though. You know? Yeah, I mean, I would recommend by a, there's actually a Twitch streamer and YouTuber called Sea Dog VA, and he actually okay. did a like a haul buy i say he went to like a like a little side street in like i think it was maybe it had been akihabara in, in japan and he like bought a a a prize box from this place and he went uh, home and he opened it up and he gave them all away for charity he sold them all around the world but he basically there was so many rare games for the nes yeah, really old consoles um all on the table i was like wow so that was really amazing so i think i'm definitely yeah. gonna i'm going to japan next year guys so I'm oh, gonna nice. bu- i might buy you That's guys cool. some little 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 uh, little Nintendo treats. Who knows? If I if I can get my hands yeah. on some, <laughs> but, uh, that sounds like fun. Going to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I'm been to Europe to. either, but uh, next year I am going to go to Europe. Oh to great! London, London. Oh actually, yes. So. Wow. Yeah, well, yeah. Cool. You, you make me get to see me and Rowan in the person in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So I mean, we we don't live in London, but I am from London, uh, and I actually oh, am okay. going. I'm actually going there. Uh, next yeah. week, next week, because my family all live in London, so it's 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 a good time. It's good for Christmas, so I'm gonna have spend Christmas Day up here where I live, then travel down to where I live, uh, where my parents are. Um, not my parents, my grandparents in in London, and I'm gonna go spend some time there. But yeah, definitely, mm. definitely go and uh, try and avoid Saturdays because they're the packed packed days mm. in London. You'll honestly you'll realise how packed it is on Saturdays. But yeah, if you want to visit like Big Ben. Uh, and you know, really big like tourist attractions. I would say try and do it in a weekday when there's not so many yeah. people. But you're still okay. gonna get, still gonna be very busy. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy. It. Yeah, it's great. But anyway, big question: What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Was it just playing around? Or um, like, right, I'm gonna start. Well, a I think it was just from watching so many YouTube videos. Like mm. I started my channel in 2019. And before that, of course, I was watching like a ton of Nintendo related videos, like mm. Mario Kart videos. And mm. I thought it would be really cool to do that myself. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Not actually at the beginning. It wasn't only Nintendo. Mm. Um, but as I kept making videos, you know, I discovered like this is these are the most fun videos to make. So I decided mm. to focus on Nintendo. And uh, yeah, that's where I am today. Um, yeah, I haven't I haven't been consistent the whole time. Um, yeah. but right now I'm trying to stick to a schedule, um, a video every other week and then a live mm. stream every other week. So there's new content every week. Yeah. I was going to say, you honestly deserve more subscribers for what you do. Cause you work really hard at what, what you do do. And it's really amazing to see, you know, how, how many video, mm. videos you've done and you've definitely yeah. been rewarded. I think, I think one of my favorite little videos I saw you do was about three years ago. It was the most viewed video is 55 K. Was it yeah. 55,000 views? It was how, how to... to set up a Nintendo 64. Yeah, mm, that's it on a modern console. And I was like, wow. Yeah, I was like, when I get my hands on a 64, I'm definitely going to try that out. So I've saved that to my playlist of DIY things to do. So, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's probably my one of my little you know favorites of the old videos. But yeah, honestly, well, well done for making it so far. I mean, me, me and Rowan. Yeah, yeah, but me and Ryan have just started, so we're gonna we're gonna keep keep. That's that's the thing. It's it's all about keeping on, isn't it? Keeping on, just don't yeah. stop. Keep on going. It's very cool how how you guys have done it for like almost a year now. You know, it mm. seems like most people do it for like a couple weeks and then get bored or something. But you know, yeah. consistency is mm. like how how you get successful. So thank you. Yeah, it's like the key, isn't it? It's the like consistency yeah. is the key to success, I think, because. Giving up yeah. in one way is a big is a big fail because you've literally lost the chance to keep on going. Thank you. Yeah, as I say, because me and me and Ryan didn't we? me when we started. <laughs> it was like two was it two was it two views, three views. And eventually, it was like five. Yeah. Then it was like twenty, and they're like wow. And then it would go down again. We're like oh. And then no, yeah, no. Um, now it's like five hundred and sixty-eight. Now a thousand and one. It's like now seven. No, I get, like, that, that's, yeah. that's what that's why um I gave up on uh, my um personal channel remember that yeah remember ryan actually he, you did give up didn't you so you moved yeah. to the podcast and you start slowly regrowing yourself but you have got a channel ryan now for those who there's nothing on it, it. That actually, there is stuff on it but it's i've privated it all it's, it's 
Is it ready to? It's ready. Oh, it's ready to be. It's ready to be born, Ryan. Ryan rants. And it's it's just sat, it looks weird because there's no videos and it's just mm. sat there on 214 subscribers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does because he he did earn 214. But you know, oh, you never that's know, Ryan. Good, yeah, he did. Yeah, but Ryan can. Ryan is thinking of rebirthing it, aren't you, Ryan? Ryan rants. Yeah. I just need to find the time. I'm probably not going to do it until mm. uh, what's it? Um, March, April, May, June. Yeah, probably like next summer. Probably not yeah. until that. Okay. Because similar to. Yeah, it's, you know, you know what's before that, don't you? So, mm, yeah, true. Exams, <sighs> yeah, big exams. Oh, yeah. yeah, they are probably the toughest times. I've I've been through them. We all do. But uh, it, it well, how are exams like built in America? Is it different to the UK? Because we have like exams at the end of school, and then we go on to like um, co- college. So, right now I'm in high school. Um, mm. but yeah, we have final mm. exams at the end. So I assume that's. Pretty similar yeah. to how it works with, mm. uh, with yeah, you. yeah, yeah, sim- similar to Rowan because he's he's just finishing you know, his high school and he's now doing exams. Is it next next year now, Rowan? Is it? Next yeah, year? yeah, next year. Um, yeah, the the big stuff. I don't know when yeah. they exactly start. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. It's about um wait January, February, March, April, like. I don't May I think they start May sometime maybe in May, May yeah. yeah sometime in May yeah I mean I've I, this is my first year of college so I part, I went through my exams it's definitely something that's challenging but you just keep at it and I'll say yeah, thank you for all the messages that everyone's been sending in to Rowan saying good luck on his exams it's I honestly wish I could just skip cool. the exams and go to college yeah <laughs> yeah just well good luck them. good luck on your exams yeah Thanks. yeah yeah um but mm, yeah. how has halt college been so far. Yeah, it's been it's been up and down because uh, see, I, I told a story. The lift broke on my first day. The elevator, oh. I think they call it in America. Is it the elevator? Is it? Yeah, ele- the, we call it an elevator. Yeah, the elevator. It it basically broke and the lights all went off and I was like, oh. what's going on? <laughs> so that was on my first day and I was like, great. But yeah, now it's great. I'm I'm, I'm really enjoying. It. I'm doing um, animal welfare, which is it, and also doing a photography course, which I'm really enjoying. And then in my free time, I'm doing YouTube podcasting. And I'm thinking next year of moving on to actually doing media and photography and you know how to build like to, to try and, and 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 computing to help build my skills for for my my youtube for the youtube channel that we've got here and and the podcast because that's what i want to go into yeah. to be fair i want to become that's very cool yeah more of a yeah. hobbyist youtuber but then i might move on to it full time it all just depends on how things go to be fair and just more of a nintendo yeah love personally loved nintendo and i've been offered to uh also i actually am quite good at my english so i might might like for just on the sidelines teach japanese students some english because i'm also learning japanese at the moment so That'd be quite interesting to see how that goes. But yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. You know, Japanese that sounds like a hard language to learn. So mm, it very is. cool that you're doing that. It is. It, it's, it's very hard, but it, it's it's rewarding, I would say. It's very yeah. it's fun. It, I like it. It's very fun. And I, I, I definitely wish all of you good luck out there who are learning a hard language like Japanese, Chinese, Korean, whatever. It's, it, it's hard, but keep going. Keep going. It, it'll, it'll get you Yeah, somewhere. definitely helpful for, like, playing Japanese games because a lot of oh, yeah. games haven't, like don't mm. get english translations oh so yeah like start out in japan so a personal favorite game of mine i think i played for a bit it's it's a controversial issue i'm not sure if you've heard of it yokai watch on the 3ds i played yeah, yeah. i've heard of it i have not mm. played it though it's really fun to be fair i i then there's the yokai watch 4 for the nintendo switch came out it looks really good but what it's in japanese only sold in japan great great just great uh, <laughs> so okay. i need to go to japan with my Japanese and try and play the game, but yeah, it's it's a bit annoying. But yeah, it's a great skill to have because considering most good Nintendo games also that are undiscovered are Japanese. But yeah, how how's how is uh, is it school going in, in in America? I'm not sure how it orders and stuff to the UK because we go from is it we go from primary school to secondary school to high school. Yes, I think so. so. We have um elementary school to middle school to high school. Mm. So and sim- it's basically the same, but different yeah. names. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and is that going well? You enjoying that? Yeah. Um, mm. I mean, I don't enjoy it all the time, but it, it, I would say it's going pretty well. Yeah, don't, um, don't we all? It can make it hard to uh, find time for YouTube. Mm. Um, but uh, I've figured out a good schedule to like spread out all the work of making the video um, throughout mm. the week. Like one day I'll write the script, one day I'll record, one day I'll edit, something mm. like that. Well done, honestly. That is, that's a skill because... Balancing work life and, and you know, hobby life with your YouTube channel 
is it can be tough and honestly well done you've really achieved it and the, the rewards that you get from that which is you know the amount of people that come back and you know encourage you watch your videos it must be like really liberating and help helpful oh yeah definitely yeah. rewarding um Definitely. I think the type of video I make, uh, like ranking videos, um, I think it's so cool that you see um, people comment like their own opinions. So mm. you get to read about what other people think. Mm, and definitely. sometimes sometimes they're kind of rude, like your mm. opinions suck or this course is actually really good or really bad or something. Mm. Um, mm. But, you know, it's very cool to see that. Yeah, it's it's cool to see all the opinions. And yeah, of course, I mean, Rowan, Rowan, we were talking about this. It can be, you know, tough as YouTube because you sometimes do receive hate, sadly, from people who are just having a yeah. bad day. And it can be discouraging. But the thing is, you know, I know, like you would, you can just look at that and be like, right, that is a very nice thing to say. You know, it's it's probably because some of the some of the comments they may be a bit rude or biased, and sometimes you do get comments that are directly attacking you as a person. That's that's not nice. And usually, I I think if that happens, we've not actually received any like bad comments yet. Because, uh, but we did, I think, receive was it one saying I think we forget what we say now, but it was like saying oh, ro- ro- yokai watch is rubbish or something, and it sucks. Oh, well, and don't talk about it. Blah. <laughs> at least it wasn't like a personal attack or something yes yeah, yeah. because they wasn't are, there that one that said about like uh all british people have bad teeth oh yeah <laughs> that was quite funny that was actually um that was an american uh, person they they commented in saying uh oh american that's it british people have bad british dental plans what do you think of this yeah, they're kind of a lot of jokes in in the u.s yeah. about british people I don't yeah know. yeah it's quite funny to be fair yeah, yeah. british people okay. are very goofy people i'm gonna say that now being british myself we've got a very strong culture particularly apparently though like it, yeah there was i saw this thing that was like um 10 like british stereotypes um mm. like proven or not proven or something and apparently like uh, like uk is number one for like dental plans so i don't know where that stereotype came from. yeah yeah it's quite funny to be fair i mean i wore oil braces so <laughs> for quite some time now i took them off and my i don't yeah my teeth are just normal teeth it's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, we yeah, we in the braces too. Yeah. Not fun. Not but, fun. Yeah. No, they're definitely not. Especially when, like, when I got braces. Don't know about you, Matthew, but I, I, I kept on like eating normal food, like sandwiches and stuff, and I sometimes broke them. And my orthodontist, which is what we call them for people who like do the braces, they were like, "Don't eat sandwiches. Eat normal food." And I was like, "What? What is normal food? Soup. Don't eat sandwiches." <laughs> yeah, don't eat sandwiches. I was like. And she eventually got to the point where she was just like, eat soup for the entire rest of your life with braces on. I was like, well, I'm not going to do that, am I? That's, <laughs> that's, that's depressing. That sounds, that sounds horrible. That yeah. does sound horrible. And I told my parents and they were just like, yep, yeah, it's uh, not, not right. So, yeah, I do agree. UK dental plans are going down the skip there and making us all eat soup. I don't know who invented that idea. <laughs> but, yeah, on, <laughs> on, to a, uh, on to the more of a Mario-related topic. Why... Mario Kart. I think we all kind of discussed this a bit already, didn't we? You kind of just yeah, kind of decided well, you'd move on to it more, or um, yeah, I could talk about that more. Um, I guess mm. part of it is because it was the first game I played. Mm. Um, I think a lot of it is also because I watched so many YouTube videos about it, even mm. before I like played it very much. Um, mm. but I think the reason I like playing it is it it's like nonstop action. Like, mm. they're constantly driving. There's, like, items, like, shells and all that flying yeah. around. You have, to, you have to be on your toes all the time, I guess. You do, yeah. It, that, it's it's, it's a very fun game. Fun. It is so much fun. And honestly, really happy that you make those videos because they're just so fun and gripping. Also, also, another question. What is it like making videos? You know, do you enjoy it? You know, do you, do you enjoy um, making the videos? Is it sometimes a process or is it, oh, I've got to edit this now? Because it is sometimes. Uh, it's an up and down, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess up and down. That's a good way to describe it. I mean, mm. some sometimes it it's hard to do it with like busy schedules and, and all that. Mm. Um, but overall, I I do enjoy making the videos. It, they of just course. take a long time sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, it's the it's the it's the consistency. It's, it's, it's almost the quality over consistency, isn't it? How it, the quality of the video is overall more important, isn't it? Because it, like it, it's the what you watch that captivates the person more. Of, how yeah. fast it is that's what i've learned over, i think over the time. um yeah. the coolest channels youtube channels to me are the ones that are both consistent and have amazing quality mm, um, definitely like do you know the channel scott the Waz? do you want oh yeah we, we love yeah. scott the Waz. <laughs> yeah i oh, yeah, think it's amazing how often he posts and how good the videos are 
Yeah, I definitely yeah, love Scott Probably Wars. my favorite YouTuber. Yeah. Remember the, yeah. the video he made called uh, he, he makes like a like Nintendo Switch four years in or five years in. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite fun. I, I mean, I like how he's he's very humorous, but he really does gr- bring a great opinion. Like he really like I I really have a lot of respect for the whole Nintendo creating community to help you know, encourage people to play Nintendo. Be look, look at these games. They're awesome. And they're also quite funny, like Scott the Woz. So it's quite funny. And also, onto, a, onto the same sort of thing, I was thinking about the algorithm, because the algorithm is probably the biggest tough enemy of every YouTuber. It's the cruel, cruelest thing out there. You can make a great video. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you name it wrong, thumbnail it wrong, it goes to, like, what? A rubbish amount of views. So what are the challenges, would you say, that you've experienced doing YouTube? The challenges of, you know, so, oh, that um, video was really, I worked hard on that one. I was like, oh, it didn't work. I guess, yeah, the randomness is kind of bad. I I <laughs> guess, um, so last year, I think, um, I had made, uh, like, some ranking videos. Like, that's when I made, like, ranking all videos in Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart mm. 8, all that. And they were getting good views. And then I made a video, like, uh, reacting to a Nintendo Direct. Mm. And I uploaded some highlights from it. Mm, and... Mm. I'm not sure if that's the complete reason, but all my videos started like dropping in views. Oh like, no! The amount of daily views, and I was really mad mm. about that because it mm. took a while to get my views back up. Oh, that's understandable. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure if that was just the algorithm or something. Because it, I think it's a challenge. It's, it's it's also hard with the whole analytics, isn't it? That it goes. So, oh, yeah. it's, it, sometimes it's a bad day. I think me and Ryan can definitely tell. You, the time that we almost ripped our hair out. Rowan, would you like to explain about how we, when we recorded for one hour and I did something oh, okay. and we lost the I'll entire episode? That. So pretty much oh, what man. happened was we, we were, um, I think we were recording about it. Was, the main topic of the podcast was like, oh, Japan has finally opened the borders and like people can come back in. Mm. Um, like, you know what I mean? To like, you know, tour yeah. like, the country and stuff. But we're talking about that. An hour yeah. in, um, you're open with his airpods case um <laughs> and accidentally connected to his airpods and we lost all that footage that we recorded so i don't know how it happened oh that sucks yeah <laughs> I, I was just fiddling around with my airpods case as you do because it's very fun to just flip and clip and then bang oh I yeah don't know what of course disconnected my headphones to my airpods and and then it crashed the phone and then crashed the whole system and i was like what and we lost oh, it no and yeah, one hour okay. gone down the drain. So me and Ron were like, look, we're going to not record today. We'll record tomorrow. Because that was really frustrating. <laughs> All those jokes <laughs> oh, and fun. It's just yeah. like gone, gone. So don't worry, Matthew. I've, I've literally put my AirPods case very far away from this episode. It will not be interfering. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> no, I think yeah. that's, that's uh, so... why I quit YouTube, though. It's because um, mm. I'd like spend, um, I'd like record a video, spend about an hour and a half editing it. Because on the, on, on, um, Basically, right. Long story short, my PC is probably the worst PC in the world. Oh no! And I'm not even joking about that because it it, pretty, it can't run Club Penguin. So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it lags playing Club Penguin. So uh, I'm getting a new one next year. Um, I think mm. like February or something. So mm. it's, it'll be better then. But uh, basically, like I I would have to resort to using an editor editor on the PS4. Mm. So I'd on the PS4. Edit on the PS4. I'd, I'd then um, no. upload it to YouTube, or it would render, which would take about ten minutes. Mm. Then it'd finally like upload, and it'd get about eight views. And I was like, "What's the point?" Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can understand. Um, so another thing about the algorithm, uh, mm. like there are sometimes I want to like take risks, kind of, and make mm. new kinds of videos. Mm, um, like mm. I made a video about plug and play games, like really bad plug and play games. Um, oh, we, oh, I saw I that spent, video. Oh, you saw it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. I, I spent a lot it. of time on that one, uh, yeah. and you know, it it just didn't get as many views as my mm. other videos. Oh yes, yeah. shame. I, I enjoyed algorithm. that. I I actually personally enjoyed that. I thought it was. Uh, yeah. It's sad the algorithm didn't take that on because I found it really funny how. That game, I think it was one of the games you're playing, just made zero sense. You're like, right, we're turning it off immediately. It's like just loaded on the screen. It was like just rubbish. What is what is the whole plug-in thing? I was gonna ask. Is that like a is that made by Nintendo? Or was it just some little thing? So, um, oh. I think uh, have you seen the JonTron video about plug-in um, play games? I think I may have done, may have not explained. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, there are like these bootleg. Uh, mm. like bootleg plug and play consoles. Um, mm. I think they're like companies in China or something. Mm. They make these like 
either they're either ripoffs of other games or yeah. they're just really terrible. Yeah. And I actually found um, after a lot of searching, I found um, all the ROMs online and I downloaded them. Mm. And there's like a thousand games and they're all yeah. terrible. They're all just rubbish. No, I watched the Scott yeah. Watts video of plug and play games. Yeah. Oh yeah. He did. I think he oh, did yeah, a pretty yeah. funny one. He did. I I, I liked the rip off Mario plug-in game that you played. Was it? It was. It oh, wasn't yeah. even called Super Mario. Shrek Bros. <laughs> yeah, Shrek. It was Shrek. <laughs> Super Shrek Bros. With the Mario like reddish cap. Like I wonder who this is. Mario's yeah. long lost brother. And it was rubbish. Just like just a really weird platform. Didn't work gone to rubbish uh, yeah <laughs> yeah i couldn't believe it existed that was very I don't, funny. yeah it's very funny to bring it to the internet yeah so yeah the algorithm can be a um a, a challenge for many but yeah as we move on to the towards the uh, last of the segments of the podcast we decided to talk about the main thing that you're here for let's talk mario kart so we're going to just do a fun little you know q a of our favorite games tracks and series uh, okay. and see what we think so for our first ever mario kart game was released some background of Mario basically. First ever Mario Kart game was released in 1992 on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System (SNES). The latest and by far the most popular Mario Kart game so far in the series is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was released on the 27th of April 2017, with new DLC being released. So we've talked about how you came to love Mario Kart, but there are so many games in the series. What's your favourite Mario Kart game in the series, and why? So my favorite game is definitely Mario Kart DS, which mm. is um, your starting game. Uh, it was, I think, the second game I got. Agreed. Um, yeah. And, you know, I just, um, I think it's the most fun to drive on because uh, mm. you can, like, do snaking, you know, that the style of drifting. Yes. Um, uh, where yeah, you can pretty fun. much just constantly drift throughout the track. Mm. Um, you know, it really hurts your fingers sometimes, but it's so <laughs> much fun. Yeah, um, to like just get so much farther ahead of the CPUs and just skid, um, like, ah, yeah. get lost CPUs. I'm skidding past you lot. It's just, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The thing yeah. Is about Mario Kart is, um, I feel I like I feel sorry doing that. Like, cause when when I used to play <laughs> Mario Kart Wii, I, I, I 50 CC was like too easy, but then like 100 CC was too hard. So I was pretty much stuck. Like, cause when I played on 50 CC, I'd just like go way ahead of the CPUs. So what I used to do was I, I used to deliberately hang back and let them have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to the computer. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. otherwise I'd just be like a, a, a lap in front of them like, all the yeah. time. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just be skidding around. But what about you, Ryan? What's your favourite Mario Kart game in the series? Mario Kart Wii. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Just, and it's not just because yeah. of the memories. It's because of like, I mean, like cause now that the online's been bought back up and stuff and like everyone's, I mean, like, you can get into a lobby, like, instantly. Mm, like, so many yeah, people. So many people are playing it. And it's just, yeah, it's just like I've had the best experience with it out of all of them. Exactly, um, yeah. But, yeah. With yeah. me, it's also... I, about, sorry, what you're saying there? I cut you off there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was just going to say, like, I think Mario Kart Wii has the best online community. Mm. Um, just because they're, like, custom tracks. There's so many people playing. Um, it's just very cool, but definitely. Yeah. What What were you gonna say? Yeah, I was gonna say this may sound like I'm just copying everyone, uh, everyone on this podcast, but I'm sorry, but Mario Kart DS is also my favorite, and I'm not just copying all you guys. I'm just saying it because, well, actually, Matthew Rowan likes Mario Kart Wii, but Mario Kart DS is my favorite because it was the first ever game I played, and just the memories tied to it, and it's just that's how I came to love sort of Mario Kart in general was Mario Kart DS. Similarly, literally the same as you, Matthew. So definitely Mario Kart. My favourite, second favourite is probably Seven, which I think was the next one that came out. It may have, was there any more um, in between that? Or? No, uh, Mario Kart Wii was in between them. Ah, uh, that's it, that's yeah. it. Yeah, Mario Kart 7 was my, probably my favourite. There's a, uh, I do think that Mario Kart 7, they only, was it, they only added like two more important features, but it was really fun. Was it the gliding and the... Yeah, they added glider. That was a pretty big thing. Yeah, they the also glider. added like yeah. fully underwater sections. Mm, that's what I think was great. And they put a little like spinner on. So these were big changes. Yeah. And I think it was, it was, it's really fun for me. So that's my, se- my, you know, my second favourite in the series. Now, characters... Love them or hate them, they're all there. You've got many different selections, so many characters from Mario. And uh, basically, what's your favorite character and ca- or characters to play as? What's your favorite? 
Um, so I love Waluigi, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, like, uh, let's see, in Mario Kart Wii, I play as Waluigi every yeah. time, pretty much. Mm. Um, the I don't like how he's not in Mario Kart Seven. Mm. Uh, that that's kind of annoying. CCGP um, Seven fixes that. Yeah, CCGP Seven fixes that. that. Yeah. yeah, have a have a that's have a cool. try. Yeah, if you if you um... yeah, I'll have to try that. But yeah, they chose yeah. um they chose um honey they chose Honey Queen and in, in uh over Waluigi. Yeah, so, yeah. Honey I mean, Queen. Who asked for Honey yeah. Queen? <laughs> Why does Honey Queen in it? <laughs> it's just like I, I never no played. I never. I think I played as her for five seconds. Was like nope. <laughs> no, it's just annoying. But yeah, well, yeah. Well, Luigi, yeah. I think he's he's. I I think I played him a couple of times. He's very you know kind of slim and moves around really quite fast. And but it's quite yeah. interesting in Mario Kart DS. What are your thoughts on that weird? I forgot his name. Is it? He's got a weird name. Robot. That oh, oh Rob, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, yes, it, it, yeah. I there. actually yeah. I also like playing as him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was like, he's the first I, time. And I think his yeah. his cart is like one of the best in the game. I think. Oh, definitely. The Rob DLS. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Rob, he's 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 quite funny. To be fair, I I was going to ask. I've always been mysterious about him. Is he like? Was that his first time appearing in Mario? Or was it? You know. Um. Yeah, his, he was yeah. like a a toy that went along with the NES or something. Uh, and that was like the only time he appeared in Mario Kart. Ever, oh, that's great. Which is I see. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense actually because. Yeah, because I, I I've not known him before, so that's quite interesting. He was like a model, you could say, and then he was put into the game. That's really quite I guess interesting. So, yeah. That's really quite interesting. Now we will probably have a least favorite character. We did this Queen B for a bit, uh, but yeah, yeah. What, what about our, what's your least favorite character to players? Um, so I guess Honey Queen is yeah. one of my least favorite. <laughs> I also hate all the baby characters. Oh baby yeah, Mario, oh baby, yeah, they do. Baby Peach. Peach. They're it's their just voice annoying. as well. <laughs> They're really annoing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, they are. And yeah. uh, Pink Gold Peach, of course. I hate Pink oh, Gold not Peach. Pink Gold Peach. Mm. Yeah, that was filler yeah. as well. That's the same of, like, page. A lot of um, like characters are like to fill up like as many to so so they can say like there's as many characters as possible. Like, and mm. the baby ones are definitely that. It's just like oh, we we're, we're running out of space. Let's instead of like grabbing I don't know a different coloured toad, let's just make Mario and Peach That's one thing babies. Because toad's, <laughs> toad's not customizable. Toad's not customizable, is he in Mario Kart? Yeah. No, he's not. Instead, they just decide yeah. to like minimize Mario and stick a pacifier on his face and be like, look, here we are. <laughs> and also, and also, you can change shy guy's colour, but not toad. I like, I don't understand that. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, yeah it, it, I understand that. Yeah, toad. What are your views on colored toads? They're quite interesting, aren't they? All the different colors. Yeah, I think it's cool how they added like different colors, um, mm. like with the Yoshis as well and the Shy Guys. I think yeah. it's cool that you could customize them. Yeah. Um, another thing uh, about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe specifically, mm. like I'm not against the Koopalings being in the game, but I mm. wish they were all like the same character and then you just like chose them because they take yeah. up so much space in the character select screen. Oh, definitely. Like Especially because Bowser Jr. wasn't even there in Mario Kart 8, the original. No, yeah. He, he had to be added in Deluxe, so... Yeah, yeah true. He, he, he wasn't really seen much, was he, until he was added in, I think. Also on the Wii, I think, is it the CG, CTP on the Wii had him added, didn't it? Mario Kart, was it Junior Bowser? Bowser Jr., sorry. Mm. Um, yeah, he was, yeah, was he added, yeah. Now... We have we will have our most annoying tracks and our most favorite tracks. What's your favorite track to play and why? Um, so my favorite track of all time is Mount Wario from Mario Kart Eight and Eight Deluxe. Mm. Um, I think it's oh, I so cool that. because there's so many different like sections to it. Yeah. Um, mm. and uh, there's like a ski section. There's a forest section. It's like oh, an yeah. underground section. It's just like it has everything. And, so many different um, elements to try out. Yeah, yeah. the mm. music gr is great too. Mm. It's not the best music, but it, it is very good. Yeah, I actually um, didn't write this on the on the plan, but I was gonna, I was gonna, I might just ask you now. I music in games really does. Lo I love it. I, I absolutely love some tracks in games, particularly Mario music as well. I've got to say, love it or hate it, I absolutely love the music in Maple. Was it Maple Treeway? Uh, oh, is yeah. it in the UK. Uh, um, I think maybe yeah, it's okay. different in the in the US in the US. I think, I think it's, it's the same. It's yeah, the same. Maple Tree Way. Maple Tree. Yeah. I love the music on that. It's just really nice. Like a really nice sort of. It's like a saxophone, isn't it, Ryan? Yeah. 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 It's very very nice. But yeah, I think my favorite track. Oh, there's so many. 
the, I think it, this is quite a flat track, but I just love to speed around on it. Probably Calamari Desert in the UK. It's, it's, uh, it's, called. Yeah. it's like a desert with the train. And yes. I, I love yeah. playing that because I just like to skid along the just the wide desert and try and mm. figure out if I can like zoom off into the des- desert and explore it. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, team, there's so much I exploration like, I like in that DK, track. Uh, yeah. DK Snowboard Cross or DK Summit. I, I, I that's probably my favourite. Oh yeah, that thing was that was that one of your annoying ones? Was it? Or was it your favourite ones? I forgot which one it was now. Matthew, it's like your oh um DK. No, I think I like that. I like that track. That's DK it. Yeah. Summit. It was either one of your good ones of your favourites or ones you didn't like. I forget now. Yeah, I like that I don't that think track. that was in my yeah. overrated or underrated, but... Yeah, yeah I that remember. Was... Yeah. yeah, very good. I remember yeah. I remember you talking about it, and I I loved that track until a snowball hit me in the face. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's these massive, massive snowballs from from yeah. nowhere come rolling down Or if the you track. get stuck in the snow, that's annoying too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or hit a snowman. They're like one of the things that didn't need to be there, to be fair. These little snowmen with like buckets on their head and when you drive into them they go flying and it's like oh oh yeah and like mario kart 64 they're in mm. that too mm. that's they're really annoying <laughs> definitely but yeah what's your least favorite track and why uh least favorite track um i think i generally don't like the boring tracks you know like mm. uh figure eight circuit and mario kart ds something mm. like that um, definitely. i also yeah. don't like excite bike arena um, yes, yep. this was on my most overrated tracks. I think mm. it's very overrated and quite boring. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. That. Have you guys played the original Super Mario Kart? Oh, yes. I tried it. Um, and I tried it like once it. or twice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it personally that much either. Um, mm. I think um, a lot of the tracks are very I hate the hard. Fact... They're very annoying. Yeah, I hate yeah. the fact that they, like, keep bringing them back as well. Like, what's that one, like, yeah. where it's just surrounded by colored blocks? That's like Yeah, Mario, Mario Circuit. Circuit. Yeah. Yeah. That That's one's like, so boring. It's very, and very they prototype. Anything, they didn't do anything to it to make it interesting. Mm. Like, there's yeah. just one puddle of oil, like, on the track, and then that's it. Like... <laughs> and some colored blocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I really don't like is Vanilla Lake. Have you played Vanilla Lake? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. one, yeah. That's pretty annoying. That one is that's really just, annoying. But just, you run yeah. into ice blocks and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think everybody knows this who's been listening to the Drow's Gaming Podcast. Me and Ryan absolutely... Well, I do, but Ryan keeps on choosing it every time we have a match. Mar- Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. <laughs> oh, oh, which one? Which probably... game? Probably... The most, the one that's like all tiles. I absolutely hate that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Super Mario Kart Rainbow Road. Oh yeah, I, hate I it. think that's also overrated by Nintendo. Honestly, they keep yeah. bringing it back. I don't get it. My yeah. um, my favorite Rainbow Road is the one from Mario Kart Seven where you go on like Saturn and like oh, the Moon yeah. and stuff. That's quite. That's fun. my favorite too. Yeah, I quite yeah. like that one. I'll give you. I'll give them that. But but, but like the Rainbow, yeah. the, like every yeah, I don't understand like the old Rainbow Road. Like, I never, mm. I never liked that one. Whenever so, it comes yeah, up. it's like a Tetris like design in the yeah. sky, and the amount of times I've fallen off. Like, if I gave you a pound every single time I had fallen off that track, you'd be like the richest man on earth. Can't lie. <laughs> but yeah, like no, that was when we were playing Mario Kart PC. I just pick it to get on your nerves. Yeah, well, but I think was it Mario Kart PC? If you if you tried that out, we did a video on it um, on our. Uh, I, I have not. It's yeah, not it's pretty that. much based on Super Mario Kart, but it's better. It's the old. It's really good to be fair. It's got, because you they've... can get like custom characters. You can make your own custom track in like minutes, can't you? It's, You've like, got really easy. Dragon Ball Z rocking in there and and stuff in in the retro sort of of um design as well. So if you're into that sort of you know like that old, uh, they've they've got some really good tracks in, in there, including ones that are absolutely rubbish. But they've also got some really good tracks in there in the old sort of design that it was. You know, in in yeah, it's, it's the old sort of design as as the old Mario Kart was. So the old Mario Kart games, but they brought it back to that retro sort of feel to it. And me and Rowan did have played it, and we we used to have fun playing that game a lot, Rowan. I think we were playing it on last year's New Year's it, like Eve, New Year's yeah. Eve. We're playing it while now the that's New Year. Now it's coming up again. Now it's coming up again. Yeah, yeah. So how much? The fun little question here. How much time would you estimate you've played? In total, Matthew, like how many hours? Let's just make this funny. How um, many hours? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a hard question actually because <laughs> I have like so many different Mario Kart games, and mm. it's like impossible to keep track of all of them. Mm. Um, I'd say like maybe possibly around a thousand. I don't know. 
yeah. 500 to 1,000. Because um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I've played for around 200 hours in total. Mm. And then I've also played Mario Kart 7 and DS a lot, each mm. of them. Yeah. Um, so that could that's also a lot of hours. Definitely. Uh, Mario Kart Wii and Double Dash, I've played a lot, but not quite as much um, yeah. as the other games. Yeah, definitely. So it, it's hard to to decide. It's hard to yeah. depict. It's hard to depict, yeah. but that's at least a thousand hours of fun that was. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've discussed definitely a, bit. a lot. Yeah, definitely a lot. So yeah, definitely a lot for us as well. I think I've been playing that for long. Probably not as much as you, but I've definitely think yeah, we've all got a lot of good hours on that. So yeah, I think we discussed this before at the beginning. Mario Kart CGTP Seven. Have you seen? Have you seen it at all? Have you got any? Um, I have not mm. seen Seven. Actually, mm. um, I would actually, say you. Yeah. I first heard about it from you, actually. So yeah, yeah I'd say it's not as um flexible as CCGP Revolution, but it's it's it still holds up. It still like, holds up. It's... Can, there's custom character yeah. manager. Like you can, there's. I think they've added like some. It's like they've added the custom tracks again. That's that's one thing that's they've carried over. They've updated it. Uh, they're constantly updating it. So if you've got your DS like modified, there's there's constant updates from the universal yeah. updater. They update it, and um, yeah, me and Ryan were having a nice time playing CGTP7, and then we entered. <laughs> this rainbow road that had been modified to just a bunch of anime girls. Oh, I hated that. That was whoever really voted strange. for that. If you're listening, whoever voted for that course, what is wrong with what you? What is wrong honestly? with you? It was so strange. <laughs> like, I had some high pitched Japanese music playing, some sort of kawaii. Yeah, that's, sort that's of... the only problem is that like, like it, it, that's a, it gives a window opportunity for people to vote for whatever course they feel like. And it was literally rubbish. It, had, it wasn't like a custom yeah. custom track. It was just someone messing around. So yeah. <laughs> somehow someone like made that. And yeah. got it approved. That's yeah. kind of crazy. Exactly. I don't know how it got, yeah. got through the approval, to be honest. Like, playing that was like, what is this? This isn't even Mario Kart. This is a new level of strange. And I definitely think it's a video in the making to to, to, to show everyone about what how weird it is. But a bit of yeah. a fun question here. Talking of um, creating your own course on Mario Kart. If you were to create a Mario Kart course, what would it be like and why? Um. Yeah, this is also another hard question. Um, I think uh, if I were to create a course, I would like to combine some of the cool things that I like from my favorite Mario Kart courses. Yeah. Um, I really like city tracks, you know, like Mushroom mm. City or Toad's Turnpike, like where it has uh, yeah. the mm. cars driving around. Mm -hmm. I think I would like to do something like that. Um, mm. There are a lot of city tracks in Mario Kart Tour, but... I think they're they can be overly complicated sometimes. Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, and it's kind of weird to like have like you driving in a, a real life city. I don't mm. know. It just doesn't doesn't feel like Mario related. Yeah, I don't know. So definitely, um, sort of, sort of just combining what you like, I guess. Or yeah, so like city tracks. Um, also like different sections. I like tracks with different sections, like Mount Wario. Mm. Um. So, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. I also like uh, sports tracks, like the stadiums, like Wario Stadium or something like that. Oh, yeah, they're pretty fun. They are. Yeah, so would you like have I a would like of, to make like that. Like a mix yeah. of elements as well. Like, so you can, like you said, like you can have like go underground, you can go on, oh, glide yeah, off definitely. a cliff, then go through some like snow peak area, then go down into a jungle. Like a mix of elements makes it a lot more fun, I think, yeah. personally. I was to say, what are your thoughts on Mario Kart Tour? I'm not sure. I've never played it, and I think was oh, it. Okay. Yeah, is it is it uh, is it like on the mobile? Is it Mario Kart Tour? Yeah, I am not a big fan of Mario Kart Tour actually. Mm, no, neither am um, I. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I think uh, the gameplay is more boring. The tracks aren't as good. Mm. Uh, and I just don't like playing Mario Kart on a phone. It just oh feels yeah. Wrong. Also, the fact that like, takes it out of it. You don't have like all the characters are not from the get-go unlike all the other characters or, 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 or sorry unlike all the other mario karts because i wanted to play as luigi and it was like no no you're playing as this other character now you have to unlock luigi later yeah. by opening spending 3.99 to get more gems to open Luke oh it, it, I, yeah, I, I hate that. Uh, it takes from what i hear of it guys it's taking mario kart out of mario kart mario kart was designed as for a handheld you know nintendo console which has always been like one of the main aspects of playing it, to be fair. So when it's taken to an iPad, you know, and you're playing it on there, it kind of takes it out of it, to be fair. Like, um, yeah. to oh, be yeah, honest, I, I, was, yeah, I wasn't having as much fun when I was playing. Was it Mario Kart 
dash, double dash, may, may have been that. Um, it was like just not Mario Kart, sorry, it was Mario. So it's like a Super Mario game on the phone, on the phone, on the iPad. Oh, it's Super Mario, oh, Mario Run. Run. Yeah. Mario Run, that was it. And it was just like, I'm not having as much fun as I would I was playing. looking forward to that because that was the first Mario game on iPhone mm. and it, I just started playing in it and I was like, oh, I don't really like it that much because... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, Mario Run, like, uh, you have to pay like $10 to get the full game. Like, yeah. you can play the first world, but then you have to pay $10. Oh, really? And that's less, yeah, that's less than any other Mario game, but like, it's what? so much worse. Oh. Like, um, I think they might like if you were to thing. play like... Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, that's sixty dollars, but it's worth it. But mm. paying ten dollars for like a mobile game, I don't want to do that. It's like money grabbing right there. I'm like, nope. I'd rather get Odyssey and enjoy that. So, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. I I thought I thought, it, I thought it was quite funny that you talked to, about one of my favorite tracks. I think I think you said it was quite unique and you liked it. It's Wario's Shipyard. I love that. Oh yeah, I love that track. Uh, just going up and down the ship, uh, zooming down into the water. What the game is that on again? So it's Mario Kart Seven. It's that big ship. Oh, that like, yeah, turned uh, yeah, upside I down. That, I think that's a good track. It's very, very well designed, in my opinion. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because in the video, that, one of the latest videos you did, there wasn't was, there a track yeah. similar to it um, in like DS in like the original DS, um, uh, like Airship Fortress, Airship Fortress kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. Maybe you could you could create a theory and say Airship Fortress was bombed and that became Mario's <laughs> you know, shipyard. You I know, mean, yeah, that's true. That Matt, Pat, Matt Pat's gonna get on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I was gonna ask uh, as, as before we move on to our last segment, which is questions from the viewers. Um, how do you film your? This is a personal question for me. How do you film your three DS screen on YouTube? Is it oh, capture okay. card three DS? So, I admit it. That is not my footage. That mm. I I cannot film footage on my three DS. So, oh, it's so hard, isn't it? Yeah. Is yeah you either... have to get like a modded. 3ds and mm. you have to pay like a hundred dollars and exactly maybe i'll like, do that you, um, someday but i was like how is he doing this i was like this is either got a modded 3ds or is did you um, sort of trick? so which did you yeah. go to like a youtube yeah. video and say hey can i use this or like what did you do mm. um honestly i just like downloaded it but i like put mm. credit in like the description yeah so. oh yeah 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 i was yeah. thinking i was yeah. gonna do that as well yeah i think you were struggling weren't you because right? you need to find the right um, i needed yeah. gameplay but like mm. I, I put like an Instead of doing that, which is like the better way to do it, I put in these comments like, "Can I? Hey, can I use this for a video?" And he never responded, and I was just waiting on the edge of my seat like for a reply. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, I think you can just use it as long as you credit them in the bottom. It should be fine. To be yeah. fair, because you're not like yeah. If, it's and I mean, like, yeah. if they told me, like, the person who made the video told me like not to use it, like, I wouldn't mm. use it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, mean yeah. I haven't gotten any complaints so. Yeah, it's I fine. It's fine. I, th- I think it's fine to use mm. it as long as you credit them at the bottom and just say, yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do at the moment. I'm, I'm creating a project for a video. I'm not going to say it's a surprise. And I've been using some footage, but I'm going to probably, yeah, probably credit them at the bottom. Because I was saying, Rowan just like, didn't ever get his response. So I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, they're, oh, I was trying to find out. I, I think I'll tell this little story before. I decided I would try my best to capture card my 3DS myself. Most foolish thing I've ever done. Wasted all my money. Basically, I bought a yeah. small, cheap HDMI uh, capture card, and then I got the HDMI cables to put them into my laptop, mini ones, perfect for the size. And then I got um, a small, you know, charger for the 3DS, but on wire this time, so it connects to your computer. And I set it all up, and I plugged into the laptop, and all I did was charge my DS. And I was gutted. I was like, "What was I thinking, anyway?" <laughs> well, at least you can charge it. <laughs> at least I can charge it now. If I lose my main charger, I was like, "Oh, that's great." Yeah, yeah. I, just, uh, mm. um, I tried to do that once too. I think I like bought, I like bought this cable, but it was like mm. the wrong cable. Oh, <laughs> it yeah. was like not a 3DS cable. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so it's, it's just oh, there. No, it's just there now. Done that. Everyone's I, um, done that. Yeah. You know, like these. Um, you can get like. So, for example, you can get you can you know how you can connect like a controller to your iPhone like via Bluetooth, right? Mm. Um, you know you can get those sort of like stands like to put on the controller and then like you can just have it like sort of on the controller your phone screen. I think I, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe. Yeah. 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 Basically, I found like um, I found a listing right. And I, it it didn't I didn't read the description. Now if you're on if you're on eBay, you should always look at the description because mm. you never know what you're gonna get unless you look at the description. So I didn't look at the description, 
which was a mistake. And um, I thought the controller would come with it. And it didn't. And I just got this piece of plastic in the post. And I was like, is this for me? And it said, like, <laughs> name on it. And I was like, oh, this is the thing I thought would come with a controller. But it didn't. Oh, great. So, yeah. So, oh, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> but, yeah, always check the description when you order stuff. Like, that's just, yeah. that's just a rule. Now, before we move on to our last segment, I thought we'd discuss on a topic that is widely argued, actually. And I, I personally, am a, I'm, I'm not for this either. What do you think of the first-person driver option in Mario Kart 7, Matthew? What do you think of that? Um, yeah. Should it be there? So, I, I think it's cool that it's there. I just mm. never use it. Yeah. Um, I think that would be cool to like have as an option. Mm. Um, also, I like thought VR Mario Kart would be cool. And, no. like, that, uh, like, you know the Nintendo Labo VR kit? Ah uh, yes, yes. I never actually played yeah. that actually, but so, yeah, I'm looking forward. To I it. have it. Um, when mm. when it first came out, I thought like they should make a a Mario Kart functionality for this. Mm. And yeah, now I'm not sure if it would be the best idea because it's not that good VR, <laughs> in my opinion. But yeah, I might have tried. I think it that would yet. be cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, personally, I think it, it, yeah, it's a cool option, but they should definitely put it somewhere in the settings where you can like turn it yeah, on right yeah, i want yeah. this to be like this because yeah. the amount of times i've been like rolling you know rolling down the road in my mario kart track in the you know enjoying myself and then bang i press like a mash of buttons and i mean you're like oh no oh shoot and i'm like <laughs> trying to control my mario kart because mm. like it's all like in weird version i end up like smashing into a brick wall i'm like no oh. but yeah look every time i turn that on because like every time i pause like i yeah. get like curiosity to turn it on and like every time i turn it on I don't know if it's just me, but the screen has always been like just sort of rapid, like shaking. Like every time you go over a bump, the whole screen shakes and stuff. And it's just, I feel like having like the, feel whole the view effect. Of your, I feel like having the whole view of your character is better than first person, mm. like from Mario Kart at least. It's how it started, yeah. I think, yeah, it's yeah. an option there, but definitely I'm annoyed how I think how you, how you turn it on is like literally by a flick of the switch. So it's so easy to accidentally switch on. Mm. So oh like, yeah, oh, also yeah. like um, what's it called? Auto accelerate and like steering. The steering settings oh, are really that. easy to. Mm. Also really easy to like turn off or it's really turn annoying. off and on. I've had the amount of times I've accidentally turned on auto accelerate and it just starts on its own. Like, hang on, I'm not holding the button. <laughs> and it, that goes to this, yeah, a pause and it's yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think one problem with like smart steering is like in my experience when I'm playing with other people like friends in the mm. same room like when you add another player it like has smart steering on by default mm. and like we forget to turn it off and then sometime when we're playing it's just like hey you're not falling off why aren't you falling off like, <laughs> you, I, uh, you have smart steering on we have smart it's, steering yeah, guys <laughs> look at us <laughs> yeah it is it's definitely i think an option that should be kept away and locked in a box personally <laughs> but yeah it's all for everyone yep. for their own everyone for their own now last of all before we move on to the the questions for the viewers i was going to ask you I, I've always wanted to talk about this. In Tom and Nachi Life. Oh, I love this game to pieces. So does Rowan. What do you yes, think of yeah. in a Tom and Nachi Life? Should there be a Tom and Nachi Life too? I saw your video on it and I'm wondering because it's yes, not actually I would love it, that. But... Yeah, same. I really agreed, to be, to be fair, that they should have more options because they've really done well with the, the game, haven't they? Some and people I, want yeah, the Tom and so Life fun. ported to the Switch. Some people want that. Mm. I don't think it would be as fun though because it's like no. just the old game on a switch but they know they wouldn't they wouldn't just do that they they would have to like like mm. remaster it at least like update yeah. graphics and stuff yeah i would want a full that. sequel yeah. not, exactly. not just a port i think they need to add like more like mini games within the game to mm. like keep you yeah. coming back i get the same dream like twice in a row like when Amit's having a dream i get the same one twice in a row which is I don't yeah. know. But like, yeah, that's the fun. That's the thing. There. It's so fun. But yeah, sometimes it kind of get repetitive. But that's why they should have, I think, telling you maybe I've a, not played a, a it in range. like yeah. ages, though. So I, I don't want to go back. So I'll be like, it's been six months since you last came here. And I was like, oh. <laughs> it's been a year. Are you dead? <laughs> who are you? It's quite funny to me how they ask that. It's like, I've, who are you? You know, I've, I haven't seen you in ages when you, when you don't go on. But it's quite funny how it's like real time as I wonder well. What, I wonder if you left it for like ages, like 10 years, where they mm. say, oh, it's been 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if they'd say. Oh, yeah. More intelligent AI. Lesson. But yes. Now, as we move on to our last uh, our last segment uh, of the episode, we have got questions sent in from the viewers for our guest. So, Matthew, 
These are small little All Nintendos, right. uh, little Nintendo, small little questions, and uh, they're from from our viewers. This is her first one. Is from how long have you loved Nintendo? For how many years? I'm guessing that is. Let's see how many years. Um, mm. I'd say about seven years. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, or maybe a bit longer, but around yeah. that. Uh, Same sort since of time. I first got my 2DS. So mm. yeah, uh, that's how long I've loved it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and uh, we've got a question saying, where is he from? The America, um, aren't you? So, yeah. yes, I am from Washington State in the United mm-hmm. States. So yeah. that's in the upper left corner. Upper left um, corner, yeah. So mm. it's about as far away from the UK as you can get. Not the <laughs> farthest, but like you, yeah. like Alaska is farther probably. But yeah, Every, yeah everyone still, who doesn't like the UK just yeah. moves to Washington State. Like we're going to get as far away as we can. This way to... <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny because I've got family who live in LA in Los Angeles, and it's really really fun there. That's that's just, that's the only one I've I've known about. I've not actually been to Los Angeles or America. So I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna visit my uh, my uncle and my family in Los Angeles. So that's I think that's 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 further down from Washington State, isn't it? The, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. further south. Further south, but yeah, yeah that's, it's that's pretty where... cold. It gets pretty mm. cold here, but in Los Angeles, it's always hot. Yeah. yeah. So I'm guessing, do you have snow? Do you have snow yet? Is it a white Christmas for you? Um, I have gotten snow. Um, mm. but it's gone now. But I heard mm. it might come back. Yeah. Same, same here. We've we had a tiny bit, and then it's like, no, we're not going to give you snow. Thing is, though, we had cold like, and um, it, ha- it came down really heavy for about an hour, and then never mm. snowed again. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it was never enough to build like a snowman or something. Like it was, we just got a bit. We've ha- like in, we normally get it after Christmas, normally, don't we? Mm, yeah, snow. normally, yeah, February, January is the coldest, bleakest, depressingest months of weather in the UK. Yeah, usually. same for me. Yeah. So, what's it like? Got that third question here. What's it like doing YouTube as a hobby? Um, I guess it's good that there isn't that much pressure. Um, mm. since it's a hobby, it's not like I'm doing this full time. Oh like, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I try to be consistent, but like, if I miss a week, like, it doesn't matter too much. Mm. I guess. So yeah. So I can kind yeah. of just do whatever I want, like make whatever kind of video I'm interested in, mm. and. Mm. It, it makes it a lot more fun yeah yeah so it's, it's a fun hobby i would say as well yeah, yeah definitely so this is what what is your favorite food your favorite game and your favorite console so it's a bit cheeky there right. but three questions in one yeah interesting question yeah uh <laughs> yeah. food i would have to go with mac and cheese are you guys oh, fans of mac and, mac cheese? and cheese love it to bits mm, yes. do you like good mac and cheese rowan what are your thoughts yeah no it's amazing Oh yeah, I love mac and cheese. Oh, my mum makes a good mac and cheese actually. I remember like it's just so nice getting home from college or something. I'm like, what's for dinner? Mac and cheese. I'm like, yes, <laughs> it's the good stuff. Yeah, what's yeah definitely. F- favorite game? I think. Do we know? Is um, it Mario Kart? I yeah. Favorite game? Mario Kart DS. I think that's mm. my favorite game of all time. Uh, yeah. If I had to like pick something besides Mario Kart, uh, it would probably be either Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Odyssey. Mm. one of those those are my favorite 3d mario games it's that's very hard for me yeah. to choose actually because there's oh, so definitely. many great things about both of them yeah it's really interesting how you like you like a, the oldest you know 3d game versus kind of like the newest so far uh, yeah mario odyssey yeah it's really quite interesting what's your favorite yeah. console the last one is uh i would have to say the nintendo switch for this yeah oh yeah it's definitely. like uh yeah. the newest nintendo console like you it's you can mm. take it anywhere. I love the portability and also like you can play it on a TV. Mm. And there's so many great games on it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. The Nintendo Switch has got to be my favorite, even though I don't own my own one yet. I'm borrowing a friend. So I am going to be getting my new one very soon. An OLED, I've decided. I don't... Oh, an OLED. Yeah, nice. an OLED. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll probably make a video on it. Um, thing is, though, I thought the Nintendo Switch Lite should have come out first if i'm honest because it's kind of like the weakest in the series because they released the switch and then they released one that was weaker than the switch because it doesn't connect to the tv or switch yeah i guess yeah. i can see why they didn't release it first because like mm. the connecting to the tv was like the big thing for the switch so yeah. it was important that they like do that first yeah pr- um, pretty true but so yeah, get that out there. the switch light is kind of lame 
Yeah. It's a bit. It's a bit like uh, I do know. I only. I only know one person who has a Switch Lite. It's like uh, everyone else kind of goes. They save up for. You might as well if you're going to save up for the Switch, get the the the, the big one, the, the Nintendo Switch um, Neon or the OLED, which is a bit more of a bar. I would say a bit more of a bargain, but I've I've decided to go all out and see what this what it's like with the bigger screen. But yeah, yeah. I actually um I do uh, I don't know anyone who has had a Switch Lite. I have seen Switch Lights. Mm. um like at yeah. school or in public but i've mm. never seen a switch oled before yeah i'll be interesting to be fair i've only seen yeah i've seen like pictures i've never seen an oled in the flesh i played the neon that's what my friends got and yeah i'm gonna get the oled and i was thinking of buying my girlfriend a 3ds because she was really interested to is play a 3ds game she was like oh i want to play some 3ds but they're like 300 pounds these days aren't they oh but, really yeah wow. in the, in, i'm not sure how many that's ridiculous pa- it's ridiculous i'm not sure what that is in dollars i think but uh um, yeah i think it's similar similar, similar sort so. of it's quite it's quite it's quite ridiculous now because i think they because they stopped selling the new ones it's they've kind of gone up in price that's the ones that are still in their own boxes so i have to see what i can do with that and uh yeah so, but, but, what, what do you think is going to come next with nintendo do you think um they've done so hard because like Mm. with the nintendo switch it's like what where do you go from here because it's exactly yeah there's so much innovation with Mm. the switch um i was i mean like you know after the wii they made the wii u and that was Mm. a failure so i feel like if they make Mm. the switch 2 that could also be a failure definitely Um, i think they should i think they'll try to make something different maybe like a full vr thing that would be cool Oh yeah, I'm really interested to be fair because I've been like sitting down and racking my brains for half an hour thinking, how are they going to do this? Because they, they, the 3DS, we all thought they kind of lost their their interest or their 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 ideas when when they released the new 3DS because it's like oh it's just a bit bigger yeah. and better. And we're like oh no, where are they going to go next? And then bang, they literally shock everyone with the Switch. I've said this you know multiple times. Yeah, the Switch was a game changer to be fair. Sent their sent their stocks high, really high. And um, so it's like now they've got a really good console on the table. They've released, you could say, the kind of sequel, which is the OLED, which is a bit bigger, a bit better. Um, I'm trying to think what would come next. Because as you said, if it's, a, if it's just num- Nintendo Switch 2, it's kind of like that's going to be started becoming like the whole iPhone business. Like, oh, the iPhone 14 has one more button. Get it for more of money. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like you, then you're starting to lose ideas so i think i definitely think it'll be really really interesting we're all really interesting and we're all waiting to see what what's going to happen next to be fair but yeah. it's in no switch yeah yeah one thing about the switch like um before the switch you know nintendo always had like handhelds and home consoles and they were always separate mm. like you had the ds and the wii and the 3ds and wii u but now after the switch i'm wondering like maybe they'll have to combine them always like yeah they always have to have both modes so mm. they might be kind of stuck with that definitely there yeah, i'm mm. trying to think of what they'll do next so. yeah because then, yeah. then i think people would like feel like it's a step down if they didn't mm. carry on yeah with it. yeah definitely but nintendo forever our last question from a viewer is do you hope it do you hope to make it big in the content creating industry um so i mm. guess of course i hope to make it big mm. uh but it's so much of it is based on luck Mm, definitely Uh, like when i make videos i'm not like directly trying to like get as many subscribers as possible i'm like doing what i enjoy if i really wanted to get a ton of subscribers i would play like whatever popular Mm. games there are now i don't know Mm. what they are honestly Uh, yeah like (laughs) but definitely uh, because it seems like non-nintendo games have a wider audience but of mm. course, Nintendo games is what I love to do yeah. and what I love to make videos on. So. That's what's so good. I think Ryan would agree with me. It's just doing what you love is yeah, literally yeah. the main part of this. It's like, yeah, m- making it big, yeah, that would be nice, you know? It'd be nice. But yeah. but the main part is is doing what you love, showing people your passion and getting people f- people's feedback on that and support. That is the real, you know, kind of glow and buzz you get from YouTubing, I think. And that's what I love. Any thoughts, Rowan? Um, oh no, that voice cracks. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, so wait, thoughts on what? Thought, thoughts on the whole, you know, YouTube doing doing what you love. I think. Yeah, I feel like you should do it... that. Yeah. Instead of like, because if you only do what's popular, then I feel like it's not really like you. It's not really real, is it? Like, you're kind of grabbing at straws. You're like, oh, I'll yeah. do this, I'll do that. Because like, you know, just go yeah. like, and then you move on to the next big thing. Like, I don't know. It just feels like it's going to be like you do whatever's popular. 
Mm. And I don't think that yeah. that's. I think you should just do what you want. Which, Your audience yeah, would yeah. definitely skyrocket up and downwards, and it wouldn't be good. You would start stressing out. So definitely, yeah. what what we're doing, what most YouTubers do, is definitely doing what they love, keeping at it, and it's just yeah, luck. It just happens. You see what happens next, and that that I think yeah. is the main the main main takeaway from that. But anyway, it's literally been. But well, before we end this off, I was going to say. What what's um the whole Nintendo Awards thing? Because that's coming up. I might let your your viewers yeah, know about that. Yeah. The Nintendo Awards. Okay. What's that? So uh, my friend uh Zachary or his mm. channel is called Seabot. Um, we Shout created this C-Bot. event. Yeah, a couple yeah. years ago called the Nintendo Awards. Um, mm. you know you have the Game Awards. You've heard of that, right? Definitely. Like, yeah, the Game Awards. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is, like, we noticed there aren't that many Nintendo games in it. Mm. So we wanted to make, like, a similar event that was only Nintendo games. Mm. So um, the Nintendo Awards is, like, anyone can vote in it. Um, and there are mm. a bunch of different categories, like uh, most creative game, game of the year, best soundtrack. Mm. And there are only, like, the Nintendo games from this year. And you mm. can vote on them. And then later on, I'll make a video, like, uh, saying who won. And, that's really uh, good it's a lot it's a lot of fun yeah this Honestly, year we've gotten yeah. more responses than any other year so far oh wow very cool. yeah well i'm gonna enter this in i'm gonna that sounds this, like it. that sounds pretty good to be honest. after this podcast i'm definitely gonna sign up for this and enter my views because i've I heard of this and i was like this is actually really good because you're creating your own sort of event in a way that could be really appreciated in the future by nintendo and other gamers as it is being appreciated now because you know the nintendo awards just look at it it's just like it's just something we need. Like it's, it, I've always loved yeah. watching the Game Awards, but I was like, same as you. I was like, great. No, it's, oh, there's not many Nintendo games here. It's all the PlayStation games. We need Nintendo Awards. So it's a great thing you've just started up here. And I'm definitely just, guys, just go, take, go check it out and definitely support <laughs> I feel it like on I, this I, channel. I'm surprised it's not a thing, to be honest, because mm. I feel like there's that many Nintendo games out there that they do need their own like awards. Yeah, so definitely hoping that that goes well. And yeah, but, but what's the date of your... You, do you know or guess what the ne- date of your next Nintendo Awards release will be? The announcement? Um, so I think the announcement, I'm going to do like New Year's around that New time. Year's. Seems yeah. like a good time to do the announcement. Yeah, Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, but I have around 70 responses so far. Oh, um, wow. It would be cool to, to get more, yeah. Honestly, um, congratulations. Because of course yeah. I want as many as possible. There's a mm. like Splatoon, right now I will say Splatoon 3 and Kirby mm. are like very close. Oh, it's right. a very close yeah. race, so I yeah, definitely see that. vote. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I'll go and vote after this. I will. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's been so fun like, having you on, like on the podcast. It's just been one of the best episodes, I would say. Having speaking to a you know fellow YouTuber, talking about what we love, and it's great. And we're definitely going to have you back on again. You've got to say, it's been a great time. And uh, yeah, we may, right. may even appear in some live streams, you know, because why not? We've uh, we'll have you on some of our live streams, maybe. Because you do live streams, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, so who knows? In the future, we may be doing that. But guys, honestly, thank you so much for listening to this episode. I'll mention all of uh, uh, Matthew's MS Guy O1's uh, socials in the description. You have a Discord server, don't you? That's growing quite good yeah. right now, isn't it? Discord server. Yeah, yeah. And subscribe to his yeah. channel and his yeah. his other... Do you have Twitter have... as well? Yeah, I have Twitter, but I don't really use it that much. But yeah. I mean, you can still follow me. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course. So yeah, th- yeah. Go. Well, I will link all the socials in the description. But guys, it's been really fun. Uh, thank you so much. But please send in your questions and comments to jrsgaming one three five at gmail dot com. Please subscribe or follow us on whatever platform you're listening from, and leave us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts. And this will help us greatly and get the podcast around. Our socials will be in the description as well, with our Instagram, our YouTube <laughs> website, Twitter, and Discord. But until then, it's a goodbye from me. A goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me.